Hello, I'm Jennifer with Jennifer Decorates. Today we're going to tackle something that's a little challenging for people, and that's how to accessorize a bookshelf. So stay tuned. So this is my bookshelf in my living room. It's full of character and imperfections, but I just love it. And today I really want to show you how to step by step decorate a bookshelf. Most people, they struggle to decorate their bookshelves and they end up looking really cluttered and unbalanced. In this video, I'm going to share some tips on how to make your bookshelf look gorgeous and visually pleasing. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is choose some books. I'm really picky about the books I choose. I don't like to use paperback or books with sleeves. My favorite is to use antique books and I like to choose ones that kind of have neutral colors and have titles that I find really interesting. And of course, here comes Molly to join in on the fun on the floor. She cannot resist to get some extra attention. Once I'm done selecting my books, I'm going to add large bookends to the middle shelf. This is where the eye naturally gravitates. It's best to keep the middle shelf simple using a statement piece so these bookends will be perfect. I'm going to make sure the books vary in height and color, but I'm not going to go too crazy. I want them to be different, but not distracting. Once my books are all in place, I'm going to make sure everything is centered on the shelf. This looks perfect. I love the symmetry. This is also the place to put the books you're frequently reaching for since they'll be easy to get to from here. It's important to add a little greenery to a bookshelf. So for something different, I'm adding these moss balls to a rusty wire bucket. This is a simple way to bring color and life to the bookshelf. My second choice of greenery is simply this container filled with two faux stems that I clipped down. Super easy, just make sure to fluff. It's important to leave plenty of space between your greenery. A good rule of thumb is to keep them at least one shelf apart. I usually use two greeneries when decorating a bookshelf. Good grief, I never get any work done. Next, I'm using this awesome clock. I just love the shape. I believe every room needs at least one thing that shines, so this guy is heading to the top shelf. I'm going to add a wooden picture frame to complete this shelf. Love it. I found these amazing gear pot thingies. Um, I really don't know what they are, but take note of their varied height. You could use candlesticks or something similar to easily mimic this. Next, I'm using some more books. By setting them on their side, I can set this vintage camera on top as a way to display it. This can be done using any knickknack that you prefer. The concept is to give height to whatever you choose to display. The final touch on this shelf is another picture frame. Finally, for the bottom shelf, I'm adding this vintage metal lunchbox. My last touch will be this sweet candle holder, jar, and little key. I just love the charm they bring to the shelf. This little mouse candle holder was actually one of my daughter's favorite things as a kid, so it holds a special place in my heart. And there you have it. Super easy. Everything on this shelf is correctly to scale, and there is not an overabundance of books or personal photo frames. The use of greenery antique books and vintage finds create a perfectly accessorized bookshelf. Thank you for watching my video. Uh, Molly thanks you as well. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. We're going to have another fun video coming out next Friday. Have a wonderful day.